Okay. I would love to. <laughs> yeah. I would love to. Yeah. Let's hit the final one, hope. So you say that grit depends on a different kind of hope. It rests on the expectation that our own efforts can improve our future. I have a feeling tomorrow will be better is different from I resolve to make tomorrow better. Hope is something that doesn't have a chapter because I think you need hope whether you're four or 104. And, you know, we spoke about growth mindset, Mel. And when you asked me, what is hope really? You know, hope is the belief that the future can be better than the past. Hmm. And it is the belief that you can, in some way, make that come to pass. When you think about your life, when you think about your happiness, when you think about your health, when you think about your weight, when you think about your retirement savings, when you think about your children and what you can do in their lives, a hopeful person says, I think the future can be better than the past. And I think there's something, even a small thing, that I can do to make it so. And at the core of hope, I think, is that belief of well, well, why why would I believe that? Well, because it is the nature of human nature to grow. It is the nature of human nature to make mistakes, royally screw up, have a lot of regrets, and be smarter and stronger mm. for the experience. So when I see people who are gritty at any age, they have this, you know, durable sense that because they are learners, because it is in their nature to develop and not to stagnate, that is what drives their optimism and their hope for, for, you know, getting something done the next day as opposed to staying in bed. I love that definition. 